Hello YouTube. Let's talk about OBs. I call this one here the old man. I call him the old man because he is the oldest cichlid I have. He was part of an original batch of cichlids that I purchased from somebody who I don't even think he's, he's even selling fish anymore. He just had a like a little Craigslist kind of thing and then he sort of disappeared. And uh, <clears throat> he's suffered through my, uh, my African cichlid learning curve, including some of the things you saw in, uh, in earlier videos like, uh, like expensive lesson and things like that. He's, he's suffered through all of that and survived and is now pushing around five and a half inches and continues to look very, very good. And I thought I'd talk about OBs because a lot of folks um, don't like them. They 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 like the purebred, but yet when you look in Lake Malawi, what do you see? You see a, uh, you do see a lot of blotches. You see um, these fish are mixing, and so certainly within the hobby, you don't want to see a lot of lines sort of watered down or perhaps. Uh, genetically uh, made less pure. I get it. I get where people are coming from. But I'll tell you, this fish here has actually uh, turned out to be a very, very sturdy, very resilient, and in my opinion, uh, a very beautiful fish that I've uh, become quite fond of. And so it's my opinion that o OBs are actually uh, actually good fish, excellent fish. And if you care to have one, that is certainly your call. Certainly uh, uh, breeding them responsibly. Um, certainly uh, if you're going to breed uh, line, you know, if you're going to breed fish, uh, it's certainly something to take into consideration. But just to have in the hobby and to have one in your tank. I particularly love the ones that I see sometimes in yellow and red. Um, so I'm, I'm a fan of OBs. And uh, some people call them orange blossom. Some people call them orange blotch. Uh, they are certainly a hybrid. And uh, this one did go through a period where he was a little bit overly aggressive. And I was starting to believe that perhaps Perhaps OBs are by nature aggressive, but this one has completely sort of settled down and just become a very good tank mate for everybody else and just sort of likes hanging out and doesn't really get into much trouble. Um, you know, I had that feeling about Lawandas, I had that feeling about um, Dragon Bloods that perhaps uh, just maybe because of the, of the way they're bred, maybe it... Uh, Maybe it makes them extra aggressive, but I really haven't seen that. This one has certainly, certainly mellowed with age. Probably pushing five and a half, maybe close to six inches. Uh, nobody messes with him. You know, he's got a lot of bulk, some good size, and uh, people just leave him alone. On the contrary, sometimes he'll maybe chase uh, a smaller fish, like maybe this little yellow benga that's maybe a little bit too small for the tank but um, otherwise he pretty much just sticks to his own so uh, now in my opinion don't flush those OBs down the toilet I think they're great I think they're beautiful if you have a red one or a yellow one uh, those are, are just in my estimation stunning um, this one somebody described him once as a raspberry OB I mean I don't know what that means he gets a little red in his face, blues, very nice orange and yellow. I love the markings on his uh, on his fins. The spots on the fins are just, I think, are just very, very stunning. So my opinion on OBs, yes, they have a place in our hobby. Don't flush them. I love them. Uh, certainly, uh, I'd love to hear your opinion about keeping OBs. 
what you think, uh, what you think about them. And uh, uh, this old man will be with me uh, for his uh, for his entire life. I will keep him until he finally dies of old age. He's not going anywhere. He might go back into the sixty. We'll see. After that sixty becomes a uh, a peacock tank, and all the haps have come over. But but I don't know. He might be able just to hold his own with the haps. He's uh, never had a, a problem being harassed. You can tell by the fins, nobody picks on him. Okay? So uh, that's it for now. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. The recent transfers that I discussed in, a, in my uh, graduation video that I released last week are doing great. You can see the VC-10s are doing well. The um, Living Stoney coming along nicely. And believe it or not, the uh, smaller intermediates that I moved over has actually been accepted even by the larger intermediates and is, uh, is not being beaten up or destroyed. Miss Ann Diver, looking good. So that's it for now, my friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. Short and sweet this week. Just got back from a vacation up in the northwest, as some of you know, and had a great time up there. And uh, the intermediates looking good as usual. Love that guy. All right, that's it for now. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to uh, visit the Ben O'Cyclid Facebook page and uh, certainly follow on ben.o.cyclid on Instagram and uh, come on by and give us your comment on OBs over at the uh, over at the Facebook page as well. We can continue the conversation there. All right. There's that seven foot tie or that seven <laughs> seven foot seven inch tie on reef who's just a beast and uh, he's uh, no longer being harassed by the intermediates who has established himself firmly as the tank boss so I think it's become safe for him to come out from behind the plants now he was the uh, benevolent tank boss for a long time which I really liked because he just sort of kept everybody in order but uh, now I've got a new tank boss who can be a little he can chase people a little bit but you know for the most part you can see he's pretty mellow all right, folks, that's it for the update, and uh, that's my opinion on OBs, and uh, I'd love to hear yours. Just post it below. Thank you so much.